Okay, so the main thing we want to prove out is the retrieval, um, the search, and the create and change of a sales order in SAP. So um, in our BPM product, we have a sales orders page where all four activities happen. Um, so the first thing you can do is you click in the order input here, and you have the ability to search. Um, so we can um, select a recently used customer. In this case, we're gonna use the Home Depot. Um, and within this modal, you click submit, and it brings you back a list of the most recently created uh, customer orders for them. Um, so that's the example of the search. Um, when you actually click on this, it invokes the get API. Um, so it goes and retrieves the purchase order and puts the information in here, sorry, the sales order. Um, and then to create and change um, is relatively straightforward. So we click a create button, it clears all of the inputs. I select that customer or I could search for it, but I think we'll keep this integration relatively simple for now. Um, so customer 284, um, there are some drop down values here. So in this case, there are three different order types, but we're gonna select software order. Um, some of these values are pre-populated, like the delivery date is defaulted to today's date. Um, there's a sales organization drop down, and it's only got one value. Um, but the required fields are denoted in red, so we're going to put in a customer purchase order number. That could just be any old number. Um, and then behind the scenes, um, Clear Process actually retrieved all the shipping addresses for this customer. So we need to select who it's being shipped to. Um, and then within the items table, we're going to um, add a product that's being sold. It's coming from the software plant. Um, we're going to do quantity of 10. Um, and that's essentially all you need to do to create the order. Um, so I can go ahead now and click save. Um, and it will actually uh, create the sales order within SAP. And then to go into change mode, typically what we want to do is just prove out that we can change something like the quantity. So let's change the quantity from 10 to 20. Um, so it should double uh, the amount of the um, of the uh, the order. So that's essentially what we're doing is you know search, get, then create, then change.